Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is September 22nd, 2016. Tuesday, I think. Sometimes, somewhere. <clears throat> and uh, I am really tired of fighting. And uh, filing complaints. But I just wanted to bring back some history that is related to advocating and promoting Dinullah. Ummati Muhammad and why the the burden in our shoulders and why the United States of America government has to to stop picking the enemy to enhance their empire or imperialism control or expansion over the globe. From the history recent history we know that this is there is there is an end and we see the signs that brought other empires that they were a lot more powerful than the United States of America throughout history what how the empire itself ate itself from inside out and collapsed from the social inequality and diseases and illnesses that the empire itself inflect to have control and continue to keep people under their control and keeping them in a status quo. This is the bigger picture. Now, let's just go back and to Desert Storm and Desert Shield. Desert Shield first and then Desert Storm. At the time I was working at Sign Back. It's a sign company. It was in Costa Mesa. They have another office in New Jersey somewhere. I don't know if it was affiliated with or owned by the same family. I remember Bill Engineer and uh, Bill Watson was an engineer. Ray Miller was and Tom. The Ray Miller was a welder fabricator and he was the, the former or the supervisor of the shop and before that was Tom from back east. And during that, oh, was another Jake, was an old veteran 
that works there. And there is a couple of Dino and his brother and many, you know, uh, people that I work with. At the time, I was married to Miss Garcia, Belinda, or Mrs. And I have Omar. And Hamza was just a baby. It was very it was very sad to see the Iraqis soldiers that they were in uh, battle everywhere in Iraq, kissing and begging for their life, kissing their, the coalition, the coalition, not of the willing, but the coalition of the kissing their feet and begging for their lives. And I brought it to the attention of my colleagues and co-workers that this is not who we are. We Ummati Muhammad. Ummati Muhammad. Right? Now, all along I said back then, and I say now, that if the United States of America want to keep their status and prestige and empire, imperial Ambitions. They have, they don't have any other choice but to look for Ummati Muhammad and empower them or let them take the leadership instead of going to, you know. ISIS and MISIS and, well, I want to take ISIS out of that because I think they, uh... anyway, okay, and stop this stereotyping and brainwash and terrorist to this and terrorist to that when the United States of America, the FBI and the CIA, national and international are hiring all this and funding all this terrorist group, okay, because of the Zionist international terrorist organization is in charge and all the other clowns, that they have no dig dignity, they have no pride, they have no deen, they have no taqwa, they have nothing. And then, in the end, when they are done with their mission for their masters, they will be exterminated or uh, a, a military coup or what have you, or, you know, uh, as we've seen since the getting rid of uh, all the kings and calbs and fads and all this 
criminals that they, uh, they plotted with the British against Al Khilaf, Dawlat Al Khilaf, Al Uthmaniyin, Dawlat Al Uthmaniyin. Okay. Now I'm not sparing the Ottoman, the Ottoman Empire from the blame because in the last, I would say, 150 years, they were not lying. Our deen, deenullah, as it ought to be. And that's why they endure the defeat because La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Okay. I am telling the United States of America now, right now, government, lighten up. And I'm talking about within our country here, the United States of America and abroad. There is, that's it. There is no other way. Okay, and I'm saying that because Dean Allah, read the Quran. Or the Torah before it got corrupted. And the Injil before it got rewritten and translated and added and taken away from and then and then and then. And know who is the enemy. Who is the enemy? I am the local government, government, cities and the counties and the state. States. <laughs> we are not an account. We are not to be forced to be an account for the state and corporate America to continue to pray and fraud us out of our livelihood and infect us with all these illnesses and the diseases and shortcomings and addictions. We are not. We are the people. We are not objects or subjects for the government to continue to commit these heinous crimes against everyone and everything. And the federal government has to take concrete steps to hold the, the government to the state, the state government responsible and have check before we go and uh, police the whole globe for our vital interests and ambitions for, again, for corporate America, for the Zionist the international terrorist organization to continue to commit the crimes against everyone and everything and declare war against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. Basically, 
And if there is anything about what I'm bringing to the attention of the federal government is inciting any uh, uprising or terrorist or what have you, bring it on and debate. Debate. And I don't care who you're going to bring. Okay. It is obvious in our daily lives, doesn't matter who, what group of people, it's obvious. Intimidations and the all crimes are justified and when you said, you, you, you question the they intensify and they just so arrogant, so arrogant. We are not, we are not to be intimidated. Make a note of it. We are not going to walk away and see and witness all these heinous crimes committed against everyone and everything and being complacent. So we'll be in our face or moderate or what have you. It's unacceptable. It's un-American, un-Christian, un-Jewish, un-everything to just be complacent and thinking that you are allowed. Okay. Again, it's friendly reminders to bring it to the attention. One last note, I am not talking about my case. I am not an angry Arabic Muslim. I am not reacting because of all the things that had happened to my family, my children. But someone has to explain. The federal government has to explain and bring those who are responsible for all of this. Because this is not an accident, fellas. It's not an accident. It is some that's well thought of, planned, and carried out carried out. And I told you before, all the players, everyone was manipulated, intimidated. And forced, drugged, what have you. Please. Okay. And it's not against only Muhammad Shiban. This is some that the government owes, the federal government owes us at least an explanation, an explanation. That's it. Now all the players and the people that, that the individuals that they participated I am not my, I don't have any wrath. I don't want to file against any of them, but I wanted the federal government to, to do their job, <laughs> to do their job. Take care of everyone. 
and see if Muhammad Shiban is a terrorist or crazy or taking too many skittles or It's for the well-being of the government to, to continue to at least investigate through a dot. <laughs> through a dot. Okay. That's it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow mercy upon humanity. We are Ummati Muhammad. We are not in our face. We are not moderate Muslims. We are not homegrown Imams. And we are not to be intimidated. And our deen is not for sale. Our deen is not for sale. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. You can take it any way you want. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.